My research area is mainly focused on improving detection of disease. We have a particular focus on breast cancer and trying to improve the detection of breast cancer. Most cancers that are missed are visible and we know most cancers that are missed are looked at it's because we have these ability to track people's eyes. When a radiologist uh, or anyone interpreting an image looks at an image, there is really a very poor understanding of what goes on. Um, firstly, the task is very difficult, particularly when we talk about breast cancer, uh, looking for disease that looks very similar to normal tissue. And equally, the cancer may only be there one in 200 images. We've really got to understand the interaction of the observer with that image. But we've also got to understand that new technologies uh, can en enable us to see disease better. So it's a, if you like, it's a marriage between behavior of the observer and the technologies that are actually producing the image. We set up a novel first in Australia that hasn't been uh, available anywhere else. And this was a web-based program whereby observers, wherever they're located, they can log on and they can test themselves as to how good are they at spotting whatever types of cancers. It allows them to know their mistakes so they could see those mistakes, learn from the mistakes and then improve detection of disease. And once we know that, the radiologist learns, but it allows us then to know ways of maybe tweaking with the technology to improve things. And when you realise that a lot of the missed cancers, for example, are to do with the observer interaction, through no fault of the observer, but it's to do with the observer interaction of disease, we can then create strategies that improve things. Now this has been embraced by the radiologic community in, in Australia. 95% of radiologists who look at breast images within Australia have logged onto the system to see what sort of mistakes they're making, how often, and then trying to improve on those mistakes. 30% of cancers are generally missed, breast cancers are missed. And in, when, when in screening in Australia, it's probably uh, quite a bit lower than that, around maybe 15 to 18% because we have two readers looking at the images. However, there is a new technology called digital breast tomosynthesis, and we've recently got a major grant from the National Breast Cancer Foundation to support our research uh, in trying to explore whether this novel technology can enhance detection of disease. Uh, it has been proven elsewhere, particularly in westernised populations, that um, this works. We're going to see whether it works in Australia, and indeed we've just submitted a major grant application to see whether this should be the future of breast cancer screening.